just I noticed after rewatching the video that the right side of my screen was a little cut off. So I think it's still understandable, but this will make it a little easier because you'll see the actual movements. So I'm going to be pressing my hotkey select and B to get into RetroArch. We'll go down here to controls, click controls, port one. And obviously if you have two players, four players, you might be able to, two to four players, you can map all your controls. So D-pad was set to D-pad up. And that wouldn't work for the driving game. So I changed it right here to analog Y. We changed D-pad down to analog Y plus, D-pad left to analog X minus, D-pad right to analog X plus. These are all the buttons that you can change. If you don't know what button works with the game, you can mess with it and keep going back and forth until you figure it out and then do the final save. Sometimes I'll do that, which is, um, which is nothing, NA, I guess, till we figure out the correct button. And right here, what I noticed is that all Dreamcast games, they're just not um, set up properly for left button and right button. They always put the left trigger on L2, R2, which don't exist. So I added this in our last video, L trigger, R trigger. And here we can even disable these or not. They just don't exist. So it doesn't matter. So we'll go back here, manage remap files. Oh, that's actually not what I wanted. We'll go back here. Sorry about that. Overrides. Save game overrides. Press A. Save. So just a quick note. On Batocera, B is your main button. You hold down B to access the menu. You hold down B as your enter button um, to confirm things. A is the button that acts as the back button. On RetroPie, it's the exact opposite. You would press A to like enter the games, um, A to, o to click OK on things, and B would be the back. So I'm not sure what it is on Recall Box, but you can just mess with it and figure that out pretty quickly. So I'm going to click my Select and B button now. So you see my D-pad, we're mapping port 1. My D-pad is set. And I have all these buttons set. Let's say, you know, I was missing something or, you know, I wanted to switch my A button, my B button because it wasn't comfortable with the way, you know, I wanted to play. We can just do that here. This I just actually said. I've never played this game on Batocera before on, on this version. I have another one. Um, so, yeah, it was set to nothing just like I showed you guys before. So I just set L trigger, R trigger. I'm gonna get rid of these. Get rid of these, so now I'm gonna go back. I pressed A. And I'm gonna set my overrides. Save game override. I'm gonna resume. So I think people, this is this is 2000 or 2001, and one of them people were having a problem. It was, it would work, at one, one day it would work perfectly, and another day it wouldn't work at all, it wouldn't start. So, and it happened to me as well, on a computer, on a PC, and on an image, on a Raspberry Pi. So what I did that worked for me, and it looks like it was probably, it was probably, um, the other NFL Blitz, um, this is 2000, I think it was 2001 that was having the problem. So what I did was I went into 
the extras. So there's a section, I forget what it's called, maybe party games or party play, whichever option where you can do like the quarterback challenges where they throw the receivers. So I went to that first. I played a little of it. And then after it was done, it let me get back into the game. Whereas if I didn't do that, it would just get to the load screen here and just freeze on it or shut down. So you see that my turbo is working. It was mapped to the L button. L or R, whatever you guys have there. Let's do the bomb. Yeah, they came at me quick. Let's see, okay, let me flip it. Let's try that again. Flip it that way. Got it that time. Oh, I didn't want to throw it to him. I wanted to throw it to the deep guy. I'll try that again. <laughs> 